What is up, YouTube? Back for another ride along, I see. Where are we going today? We're going all the way down south. We're going down south. We're going Mandra. We're going to go hit up all those Mandra. Mandra. I haven't been to the Mandra op shops, thrift shops for about six months now, so we'll see uh, what we can find there. Oof. I'm feeling very itchy. And it ain't syphilis and it ain't crabs. Oh, I've been hanging to go again. I've been hanging to scratch that thrift itch. Scratch it good. I know everyone's got that itch inside them. Yeah, why the fuck am I talking? Why am I talking? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Let's do this. It's right along time. Right along. Let's do it. Now, right along. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to up shop town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. Cook some berries and catch a fish and make some carrot stew. Carrot stew, carrot stew is my favorite thing to do. Get a pot and a carrot or two and cook up some carrot stew. Why the fuck am I singing carrot stew? I don't know, but it's in my head. So we're going down Mandra and hopefully we can find some good shit. I've got a good feeling. I have this feeling of fucking awesomeness. So the first store I want to go to is um, the old video store I used to work at. Turned into an op shop now. So brings back memories when I go to this uh, op shop. It's really cool. Nice big one. I found some good stuff there uh, last time I went there. And there's a few other ones around the uh, corner. So I'll do a few hours today and then uh, I'll bring you on Thursday uh, everything that I got on Show and Tell Thursdays. Make sure you don't miss that because that's where you get to see the kitty. Alright, let's do this. Let's do the first top shop. Lube up because you don't want to go in dry because this could be a messy ride. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. The Good Sammies. Good Sammies isn't a bad thrift shop i like it found some old crazy cassette tapes in here but um decent prices as well but um they were just fucking dog shit they wouldn't have sold i couldn't have even sold them to a homeless guy that wanted to make fucking 50 extra cents on top of his uh 50 cents that he's making an hour now now uh these dvds decent price as well dollar each couldn't really find anything in here but i found a whole heap of uh vhs tapes which uh Tickled my fancy, aerobics Oz style, and some art attacks. These art attacks go alright, I'll explain them on Thursday, but uh, art attacks do pretty damn good. Um, there's some other weird shit here that I wouldn't even fucking bother picking up. This guy spitting on his head, why would you want that crap? Couldn't find anything on comps either about that one, but uh, yeah, that's all good. These uh, stuffed toys in the toys section was pretty cool. Had a little look through. wasn't the greatest. I did find a Dancing Homer. The Dancing Homer they wanted uh, $3 for. Pretty good price, really. These mix a lot of bags. Uh, they're usually pretty good, but they're all fucking crap today. Uh, yeah, Dancing Homer. Should come up in a second. It was too big. Too big to uh, even think about posting and selling, so... Oh, shit happens, shit happens. And there he is, Dancing Homer. Pretty fucking cool, I should have brought it. Why didn't I buy it? Why did I not fucking buy that? I have no idea why I did not buy that. I think his glove was all sticky, I can't remember now. But there was a reason why I didn't buy it. I think it was just because it was going to be too big for shipping. This is my little pony. I didn't buy it, but... Uh, two bucks each they wanted for those My Little Ponies. 
and then I'll um, always have a little look through these uh, children's books because you never know what you are going to find. And sometimes you find some good stuff. Like I said, I've said in the past, I found a He-Man, a He-Man book for uh, 50 cents from the 80s and I got 50 bucks for it when I sold it. So always have a look through these ones. I found this uh, Mr. Potato Head uh, coloring book from the 80s. I thought I struck gold there. I would have actually got um, something for it. Then there's some little prick. Some little fucking prick has already fucking scribbled in it. I was not happy. That would have been a bloody good buy, that one for 50 cents. That kid's fucking snagging that dinosaur right from underneath me. And, uh... I have a look for the shirts now. And oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. You're gonna know why I'm disappointed in myself. Because look what I found, and I didn't buy it for $5. Kiss Revenge... Now, the Revenge album actually came out when they didn't have makeup. This is the reason why I didn't buy it. Um, kind of, it was large as well, so I need extra large. Uh, that old lady there, she's trying to have a look for the Kiss shirt as well. I think she wanted it for herself. But uh, I'm a little bit disappointed because I probably could have sold that. I mean, flocked it off for 20 bucks. All right. So I'll find this basketball uh, jersey here. I think this is a 2011 uh, New Zealand Breakers. I do pick that one up for $5. And um, I fucking now that I'm sitting here doing the voiceover, I'm actually kicking myself in the... Just kicking myself in the nuts. Can't believe I didn't grab that fucking Kiss tank top. Why the fuck did I put it back? See, you got to put stuff in your basket and look it up later on. But that's the... Uh, that's the way it goes. I didn't pick this up. I looked it up and I didn't pick it up. Would you have picked it up? It was an official, an official uh, London 2012 Olympic Games. Would you have got, would you have got this, that polo shirt? I put it back. I didn't bother. I didn't bother. Uh, the shirts were pretty cool here, actually. There was some more art stuff. Um, there's a, um, I didn't get it, an Angry Birds shirt, but... Uh, I don't want to be getting too many clothes to begin with. Freaking have too much shit. But look what I find here. Look what I find here. A pair of nudie jeans. A pair of nudie jeans. And a little little white stain on the leg there. And uh, I didn't grab myself a basket. I think it's bad luck when you grab a basket. But anyway, uh, there's a um, little white stain there. But uh, I don't know if you know Diary of a Flipper at all. Diary of a Flipper will now be doing on his show... A full beer skull with a chaser of rum. Because I found nudie jeans first. I didn't give a shit what condition they were in. Or what they were going to sell for. And look at this guy's mullet in the back corner here. Look at that mullet, boy! Alright, that was okay. It wasn't the greatest. But it was alright. And I think I popped my cherry. And I got my first pair of jeans. Well, I didn't think I did get my first pair of jeans. You'll see them at show and tell. Uh, are they going to be worth anything? I don't know. I'm going to hit up Kara from Bricks, uh, Thrifty Pixie. And I'm going to hit up Brad and Jazz from Two Aussie Thrifters as well. Ask both of them on their opinions on this one. But, I don't know. Maybe I won't need to. Maybe i got a diamond in the rough for my first pair of jeans, like my first shirt. Alright, let's go to this other one around the corner. All right, we got the Anglican op shop there. We're gonna give that a crack first, I reckon. That's someone's house. Is that someone's house? I don't know. We got uh, for a dirty windscreen. We got uh, some Vincent de Paul Society. I don't know if that's even an op shop. It doesn't even look like it's open anyway. Anyway, and then we got the good old Salvos. We we'll go to the Salvos. That's a big store. That used to be a video store as well. I'm pretty confident. Brings back old memories being back here, and uh, I got some good shit here last time, so let's have a crack. Alright, this store. I used to like this store six months ago. I got some good stuff on some of my other videos from this store. Shitload of videos. Like, look at the videos. What was that? Fucking ten for two dollars? I found a few, but, uh, meh. There was none worth grabbing, like this one here. Not worth grabbing. This guy was looking a bit freaky in the corner. I don't know what the fuck he was up to, but uh, he was doing something fucking dodgy in the corner there. Anyway, fucking, uh, 
He, as soon as he saw me, he was the fuck out of there. He got the hell out of Dodge. So yeah, the books and the uh, videos were a bit average. Uh, weren't the greatest. The shoes. Um, some of the shoes were, and that's another thing that I'm still learning is shoes. Uh, some of the shoes were pretty cool, but um, they were all uh, bad condition. This uh, game was pretty sweet, which I actually grabbed. It looked like an old, old, old game. Who shot Johnny Rock? I don't know. We're going to have to play it to find out who fucking shot him. So we'll find out who shot Johnny. The jeans all here were a bit fucking dodge and shit. Um, the shirts were shit as well. So the clothes department, you know, it was pretty crap in this area. So I only got a few things here. And um, it was still a good day, don't get me wrong. It's going to be a good show and tell. Got some good stuff, but uh, yeah, I, I, this this still gone downhill. Cool plush there I picked up, fucking Wolfman. I think she made me pay a dollar for that one. And it's a Universal Studios one with the uh, tag still on, so that's pretty fucking sweet. Uh, she was very happy to see me here at Salvos. She was pretty fucking happy. Uh, very stoked, since she wasn't getting paid at all. And uh, I had a look through the clothes here, and the clothes were way overpriced. Oh my god. It was ridiculous. There's a Rogue One shirt, not a vintage Star Wars. They can suck it. I'm not buying it for fucking seven dollars. Fucking Rogue One shirt. Um, some cool stuff here. I found an old Dockers plush. It's uh, my team I go for. 1995. I've been looking for one of those ever since. Uh, never had one. And the Fifey one I've already got. I've already got the Fifey plush, so I'll put that one back. Didn't bother with Fifey. Um, I suppose I could have got a second Fifey. You can never have enough Fifeys, I suppose. But uh, it's all good. I wasn't going to resell it. I'll keep those ones for myself. And the mugs. I had a look for the mugs. Uh, all there was was this dirty fucking Collingwood one. And why would anyone want to drink out of something that uh, someone with uh, yeah, a Collingwood mouth drank out of? Fuck, there's dickheads that drive around. Fucking idiots. There's a... <laughs> there's a Vinnie's across the... Uh, Road there, I ain't going to that one because I remember last time I went there, it was a waste of my time. Um, I'll have a quick look, I think there's one around the corner here which I'll just walk to. If it's not here anymore, I saw one as we were driving up the freeway coming into Mandra. Let's have a look. Oh, yep. Mayday opportunity. Would you look at this? The first thing you see when you walk in here is plush toys for five dollars each. Fucking five dollars each. You're fucking shitting me. You're shitting me, right? So they can fuck off. Fuck that. But it got better. It did get better. This store, I liked it. There's a nice Dockers jumper. Already owned that one myself. Uh, a bit small as well to buy, so. Didn't bother picking that one up. I wanted to get some different stuff that I don't have. So there was a Tottenham uh, Hot Spurs scarf. This looked like an 80s one. And uh, then there was another scarf as well, a Chelsea one, 80s one. I couldn't really find anything on comps um, of old kind of vintage soccer scarves. Um, would you have picked them up or would you have left them? Because I left them. I wasn't paying five bucks each for them and then getting stuck with a Chelsea and a Tottenham friggin' scarf hanging over my head. And the quality wasn't that great, so they were a little bit rough around the edges. Um, there was some independent uh, football jerseys in there as well. Uh, I don't really bother with them. Um, so when we look through, I did find... Oh man, I frothed on these because I thought it was going to be my size. I left them because uh, Peel Thunder stuff doesn't really sell that great. This is my local uh, team that I go for um, in the uh, Waffle, uh, West Australian Football League. But uh, unfortunately, they're both small sizes. So they're pretty nice tank tops, but they're both small sizes. I would have loved to have, uh, I would have loved to have picked those tank tops up, had myself a Peel Thunder tank top. But never mind. Kept on moving on. They were nice though, in good condition. I think they were uh, youth or uh, the Colts, uh, Colts training uh, ones. 
I d- fuck, I didn't see those shoes. I didn't see those fucking shoes when I was there. So it just shows you miss stuff. It shows you miss stuff. And then you watch back on video. There's another Peel Thunder. That's the Peel Thunderbirds. That is a female's um, polo shirt, that one. I actually should have picked that one up for Kelly, but I didn't. I did pick her up a jacket, a Peel Thunder jacket, though. Because uh, that is the good husband I am, getting sports gear for my wife. Even if she doesn't like the team. Uh, these Nike golf shirts. Would you have picked them up? Now, there was about four of them. These are all five bucks each. And they go for about 20 to 25 they They're little look skis. I picked up two. I only took two. Out of the four that was there. Uh, pretty happy. Pretty happy with uh, just taking the two, to be honest. Kings of Leon, one of the most uh, overrated bands you've ever fucking heard. Name one of their songs right now. Name one of the songs right now on the top of your head. You fucking can't, because they're fucking dog shit. There's a uh, Western Warriors uh, cricket jersey. I left that one behind, because... Ah, I don't know. I just I'm not a big... I don't know too much about cricket, so I left that crap. And there's some weird shirt. I love that shit, too. Alright, so... I like looking through the shirts now. What have you guys done to me? What have you done to me? There's a Jurassic Park shirt. I didn't get that for the reason that... Um, I didn't think it was vintage. I think that might have been like one of those Kmart or... Was it the JoJo's or JJ's or whatever it is? That shop yeah, sells all the uh, prints of uh, old movies. I think that's what happened. But here we go. Always look for the sheets. I told you this. Found an old... 70s or 80s vintage Mickey Mouse Duna cover. Fucking three bucks she only charged me for that. It's a bang. Pillowcase as well. Straight in the basket. But then, but then, look what I find. Woof. There we go. May the force be with you all. Look at that. Five bucks for an 80s. For an 80s. Star Wars Duna cover. How far? I didn't even look it up. Fucking bang. Straight in that fucking basket. Thank you very much. Fucking hell. I was... You, you just can't... How good is the feeling when you find stuff like that? And there's a turtle. Two bucks. I keep him for myself. Uh, and the count. One. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, two. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I had to put the count back. Once I got to the counter, she wanted five bucks for the count. I probably only would have got ten dollars for him, so there's an old Mickey. So the plushes here were alright. And oh look what we found. Oh no. Adelaide Crow's little bear. No one wants an Adelaide No one wants an Adelaide Crow's little bear. Alright, Frifters. I think I just got a thrifting erection. Don't be embarrassed about it. Everyone's had a thrifting erection before. Come on. I saw the Star Wars. I saw the Star Wars bed sheet. And I've told you all so many times. Look through the sheets and the Duna covers. It's just... I found that Goosebumps one that time. And ever since then, I've never not looked through them. Never found anything again until now. But anyway... As soon as I saw that Star Wars sheet, Duna cover, instant wood, instant fat, fucking crack, the biggest fat fucking ever. Didn't even look it up. I didn't even look anything up really today. I didn't look anything up. A couple of those shirts I looked up, but today I just winged it. It was one of those wing days, winging, winging day. Uniting Church of Mandra. We nearly got fucking, we nearly drove past it. Uniting Church of Mandra. I didn't realize it was so close to all the other ones. Okay, so we'll hit this uh, one up, we'll hit this one up, uh, we'll check out uh, what's in here. It's one of those independent church ones, and these are usually pretty good, and we don't come by them very often, so. But yeah, I am stoked with that Star Wars uh, thing, got a Mickey Mouse one as well, show you all in show and tell, Thursday. Um, but I can tell you what, buying clothes, you bastards getting me into buying clothes, buying clothes costs you a lot more money. When you thrift, cost you a lot more money. Hopefully the return is as good, okay? So, I'm trying it, I'm trying out. 
and I lost my jeans virginity today. Let's see uh, if the, the, the first pair of jeans that I get is as good as the first shirt that I got. But yeah, like I said, before we go in this one, I just want you all to make sure that you do look at Duna covers and all that, because ever since I found that Goosebumps one, you do find some cool retro ones and all that, so definitely have a look at that. This is the entrance. Kind of screws me. It's open. Ah, oh. that's closed. That's okay. All right, so that was a not bad day at all. I reckon it was pretty good. It wasn't a holy grail. It wasn't a holy grail but I did get a thrifting erection. So, uh, now the big decision that I need to make on the way home is do I want McDonald's or do I want KFC? Life is full of choices, because there's even Hungry Jack's next door as well, so. But anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Up to you guys if you want to subscribe or not, would be good. Get me over the line. Uh, don't forget about uh, Thursday's show and tell. Show and tell, you'll see everything that I got today. Don't have to do two episodes in a row, well, don't have to do two days in a row to uh, try and make up uh, one show and tell like I did last week. So, like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want, scratch that thrift itch, you know you fucking want to scratch it, and yeah, well, uh, Thursday you will see the uh, first pair of uh, jeans I've ever brought, so that's uh, worth tuning in there. McDonald's or KFC, fuck. Come on, dickhead, I'm hungry. Oh, I know what I'm getting. I know what I'm getting. We've got our winner. We've got our winner. Cheers for watching, everyone. Like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. Tune in Thursday. I'm out of here. I'm going to eat some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Come ride with me. Let's thrift, let's thrift all day.